Solar energy is currently leading the push for renewable energy, and it is easy to see why. Solar panels are easy to install, are dirt cheap and last for decades. But they aren't without their drawbacks. To make a single panel takes a vast amount of energy, and in the process, it emits heaps of carbon emissions and deadly toxic byproducts. But a recent breakthrough could change that by making an unused solar technology far more powerful. Our current solar panel technology is silicon-based. These panels have been mostly unchanged since their first inception in the 80s, with some upgrades in efficiency along the way. But the real evolution over the decades has been the cost. Back in the day, solar panels would cost orders of magnitude more than fossil fuels. But now, the price per panel has dropped dramatically to the point where it is the cheapest form of energy available. But silicon is a complex material to work with. It takes a lot of energy, catalysts and wastage to make each one. In fact, it takes 250 kilowatt hours of energy to make one panel. That is enough energy to drive a Tesla Model S over 800 miles. It is possible to power this electrically with renewable energy, but many manufacturers don't as it is impractical and instead opt to use fossil fuel power. This is why solar panels aren't carbon neutral despite producing no emissions while making power. Despite this, solar is still one of the lowest carbon forms of electricity we have. This is where ferroelectric panels come in. Ferroelectric solar panels use widely available low-toxicity metals rather than the rare, highly toxic metals in silicon panels. This not only means that they don't have the toxic waste issue of silicon panels but also means their material costs are far cheaper. This cost saving is further compounded by the fact that they take far less energy to produce, making the cost per panel and, therefore, the cost per kilowatt hour much less. So why don't we use it? Well, while our current panels operate at a usable 15%-ish efficiency, ferroelectric panels tend to be around 0.015% efficient, about a thousand times less. But German scientists recently invented a new type of ferroelectric panel with a lattice of three different ferroelectric materials. The idea is that together these materials would absorb far more light than they would on their own and increase the panel's power output. But the scientists were taken aback when they saw how much by. Their invention produced 1,000 times more power than previous ferroelectric panels, putting it on par with modern silicon ones. So does this mean a solar revolution could be underway? Possibly. So yes, this amazing new technology may kickstart an incredible solar revolution that is astonishingly cheap and better for the environment, but it has plenty of hurdles to get through before it can. Both are crucial developments that can allow solar power to help us save the planet from our climate crimes.